Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back. Another video here. It's super windy today. It's been windy all week. This is that kind of weather that's very unpredictable. You could be driving down your dirt road and all the dirt, you know, and dust is going behind you. And then all of a sudden the wind changes and it blows <laughs> all of your own dust into your window. That's the kind of uh, wind is going on. It's been windy all week. It's very, it's normal for this time of year up here. It's getting hot, hotter, and the wind is constant all day. And it gets progressively worse as the day goes. So it's about 10, 10.30 right now. I'm up in the forest. I thought I'd come up. I was doing a little bit of off-roading over here, but that was happening. I, I don't like to, I, I off-road with my windows down, right? I don't run the air conditioning unless I am moving from like one area to another and I might have to transition onto a, a main road. I'll run the air then, but I like the fresh air. I like to listen, all that stuff. But I do not like when the big plumes of my own dust get blown into my window. And that's what was happening. So I figured I'd stop, set up, and, and do some cooking. I've been wanting to do a, uh, a test of different canned chilies. Right, you know, chili. And I've had all kinds of different ones. But I went ahead and got some different ones that the local store had to offer. But I'm going to do them kind of one at a time. I, I'm going to, if I eat one and I don't like it, I can easily mark that off. If I eat one and say, ooh, that was pretty good, I'll put that on the list and we'll have to do like a head-to-head -head type challenge later on. But what I want to do is I don't just want to eat chili. So I brought uh, some pretzel bun, some hamburger, and I'm going to make a chili cheeseburger. So it's, I'm going to get set up.
I think this is going to be messy. I hollowed out part of the top of the bun to get more chili in there. Mmm. Mushy. Ooh, it was pretty good. So it was Wendy's chili that I had, and it was tasted exactly like it. Because I, I've got Wendy's if more than a few times, and had uh, they have a salad that they give you a bowl of chili that you dump on that's really good. But yeah, it, it was good. But I tell you what, the cooking those burgers, man, they really make a mess. I mean, there was grease splatter all over my table. Obviously, all over the the uh, burners so I, it's like the the risk and reward is it worth cooking that maybe that, that's why I really like when it's uh, seasoned for fire and you can use your grill because it just either goes on the ground or it burns itself off on those charcoal grills that I use this here is a necessity but man the cleanup <laughs> it takes a while pretty good I, I got through about one and a half very sloppy, get chili all over you. And I, I did a little, I hollowed out the bun a little bit in the top the top part of the bun. One, so there's not so much bread because it those pretzel buns are pretty thick and hearty type buns. So I hollowed it out a little bit and I spooned chili into the top and then put it on there. So every bite you get a lot more chili than it looks like because if you just put it on the burger and squish it down, it just all goes out on the sides. So I made like a little cup to keep it in. Uh, there was a, a, some people came by in a, a couple side-by-sides when I was cooking. And I, I could hear them. Because the wind's blowing, you know, you can hear from a distance. I could hear them bring out some, like, uh, metal detectors. Because there's a mine not too far down the road. An old mine. It's It's been out of service for a long time. But I hear beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and then there's a, a guy who... Uh, lives up here part-time in a cabin a couple, uh, maybe a mile or so back mm -hmm. this way because I'm pretty close to, to the exit of this area. And he walks up here, and I've seen him walking up here in the snow. So I was chit-chatting with him a little bit. That's really nice to see, talk to some people that just love the forest like I do. But uh, that was, uh, it was pretty good. And the, the chili was, the chili was great. The, so Wendy's chili, it's not spicy. Uh, I used a new um, seasoning on the burger called Black and Tan. It was recommended to me by Timmy, and it was pretty good. It, it sits, I think it says, black salt and black pepper. So it's called Black and Tan, and it's the whole thing is, you can see it's all black in there. I never heard of black salt, and it's a steak rub. Most of these things are considered rubs that I use, but I mean, if you're seasoning it before you cook it, it, it should work fine, and it did. But this black and tan is pretty good. I'm gonna use it on a steak next to see see how that is. But I think I could I think I could taste the flavor. You, know, you gotta kind of taste your spices a little bit by themselves to see if you can identify them later. Cause sometimes some of the mild spices will just get lost in the mix. But it was pretty good. Um, just like I said, the only thing that comes to mind is that it was, it was really messy to eat and it was really <laughs> messy to cook. But I enjoyed the chili. But if I was just to eat that chili by itself, I think it's just way too mild. It's, it's very, it's almost sweet in a way. And when I eat chili by itself, I want the chili to be kind of bold. I want it to be spicy. So I'm not saying that that's not a, a good contender, but that is definitely a good one to make like chili cheese dog or a chili, chili cheese burger. By the way, when I was cleaning up and putting everything away in my little 
my little cooler that I use here. I forgot the cheese. But with the pretzel bun and chili, when you start, when you add cheese, it's almost too much. It's almost too like, oh, you just go into a full on food coma. You need to rest for a while. So I was a little bummed that I forgot the cheese, which I seem to do a lot, forget the cheese. And I love cheese. But I think in this case, it worked out good because there was plenty of flavor there. I didn't need it to be like a complete sloppy mess, but pretty good. Pretty good. I enjoyed it.